In this video, we are going to cover how to assign ICD-10 CM diagnosis codes for the chapter 19 codes that have to do with poisoning, toxic effects, adverse effects, and underdosing of drugs. First, let's explain the coding categories. So poisoning, adverse effects, and underdosing will be in categories T36 to T50, and toxic effects are categories T51 to T65. Now let's define what all of those categories include. So a, a poisoning is when a substance involved is not used according to a physician's instructions. Maybe an overdose, the patient took a wrong dose, or the patient took the prescription not as instructed, maybe such as taking Valium with alcohol when the prescription specifically says to not mix that medication with alcohol. So that would be a poisoning because it's not taken as instructed. Even if the patient took the correct dosage of the Valium, if the patient took it with alcohol, that's not as instructed because it specifically prohibits use with alcohol. So when we're coding a poisoning, we want to code the poisoning first, and then the additional code for the manifestation of the poisoning, if we know what that is, like a coma, uh, vomiting, whatever would be an additional code. Now an adverse reaction is when the prescription or medication was taken exactly as prescribed, but there was an adverse reaction, meaning the patient had a reaction to it, like a side effect. This could be the patient developed vomiting, tachycardia, pruritus. When we're coding these, we code the nature of the adverse effect first, like the vomiting, and then we code the adverse effect of the specific drug as the second code. So underdosing, now this is when the patient is taking less of a medication than prescribed, like when the patient is supposed to take, say, 12 days of a medication and they stop after day five. That is underdosing because they're not completing their complete prescription as prescribed. So when we're coding underdosing, the code for underdosing is never a principal diagnosis or first listed diagnosis. We would code non-compliance or a complication of care with underdosing to indicate intent if we know that the patient was non-compliant, if the physician has documented this. And then the fourth choice here, toxic effects. This is when the patient comes in contact with a harmful substance. Maybe it's, you know, through the skin, the patient is exposed to a harmful substance. Now, all of these codes have seven characters, and they're the seventh character choices that we're used to seeing in chapter 19, A for initial encounter, D for subsequent, and S for sequela. So the definitions are the same as when you're coding the injuries. So the coding guidelines for coding injuries we covered. Now let's look at coding poisonings. The first thing I want to point out is that when we learned how to code injuries, we were in the regular alphabetical index. Poisonings, adverse effects, underdosing, and toxic effects have their own section in the alphabetical area. So if you remember when we learned how to code neoplasms, right, there's a table, a neoplasm table. In the back of your injury index, your disease index, your regular alphabetical index, we then have the neoplasm table. Behind the neoplasm table, still in the alphabetical index, we have the table of drug and chemicals. So make sure and open up your ICD-10 CM code book so that you can see where this table of drug and chemicals is. This is where you come to find any of these four conditions that we're talking about. So in my ICD-10-CM book, the table of drug and chemicals starts on page 350. So if you guys wanna open up your 
ICD 10 CM book, let me explain to you how this table works. So you'll see the very left column, it's a bigger part of this table, it's the substance. So that is what the patient took or got exposed to. Then we have all the columns along the, the top, poisoning, accidental, unintentional, poisoning, intentional, self-harm, poisoning, assault, or poisoning, undetermined. We then have adverse effect and underdosing. So you can see the first four columns next to the substance are for poisonings. And then we would say if the poisoning, if the patient didn't mean to do that, so it was an accident, if the patient was trying to harm him or herself, maybe a suicide attempt, that would be the second one, poisoning, intentional self-harm. If, if the poisoning was an assault, you know, somebody forced them to take a substance, that would be the third column, poisoning assault. And then the fourth column, poisoning undetermined, is the physician would specifically have to state undetermined. The documentation has to tell us undetermined. Otherwise, our default is always that poisoning, accidental, unintentional, okay? Then adverse effect, we only have one column. Underdosing, we only have one column. Some other words you might see when you're coding adverse effects or adverse reactions. It might be drug intoxication, drug toxicity, drug allergy, toxic effect, and hypersensitivity. All of those are synonyms for an adverse effect of a drug. So if you see any of those in the documentation, you know we're gonna be in the fifth column in this table, the adverse effects. And then underdosing, again, that's when the patient didn't take enough of the medication or stopped the medication prior to the prescription being completed. Now the other thing is when you're coding uh, poisoning, adverse effect or toxic effect, we would also have an external cause code to show how that happened. In these cases, we have not learned those just yet, so we will cover those we're gonna cover external cause codes in the next lecture. So let's go ahead and do a coding practice. So in this scenario, we have a 15 year old who went to a party with some friends from school. They all experimented with ecstasy. She became unresponsive and was taken to the ER. What codes are we going to assign? Okay, so let's open up our ICD-10 CM book to the table of drug and chemicals, again, page 350, and then go to E. This is alphabetical, just like the rest of the index. Go to E to ecstasy until you can find that in the left-hand column under the substance. So I'm on page 366. Once you get there, our scenario says that she was with some friends and they all experimented. So she took this. It wasn't, she didn't do it as a suicide attempt. She didn't do it as an assault, it, right? It wasn't forced upon her. It wasn't undetermined because we know what she did. So this was accidental, right? She took it not thinking there was gonna be any kind of Ill, Ill consequences. So we are going to go with that first column, the poisoning, accidental, unintentional. So once you get there, Sometimes it's helpful if you have a ruler or a piece of paper or something to make sure you stay in the same row. But under ecstasy, if we follow that over to the first column for poisoning, accidental, unintentional, we see T43.641. So now we always verify in the tabular. So let's flip to T43641. Make sure that's the code we want. So T43641. On page 1106 in my coding manual. And it says poisoning by ecstasy, accidental, unintentional, poisoning by ecstasy, NOS, which stands for not otherwise specified, tells us we need a seventh character. So we know that A is initial encounter, D a subsequent, or C or sequela. So she immediately was taken to the ER. So this is initial, right? We're gonna pick A. So our correct code 
is T43.641A. Okay, let's go to another one. This one is a 55-year-old admitted today for tachycardia due to an interaction of his digoxin and Valium. So with this one, what code do we assign? So in this scenario, he had an interaction of these two drugs. So he was taking them as prescribed, right? He didn't take them wrong or he didn't take the wrong dose. So this is an example of an adverse effect because these two medications are not reacting well together. So when we're coding an adverse effect, remember that the coding guidelines tell us to first code what the adverse effect was and then code the adverse effects of the drugs second. So our adverse reaction was this tachycardia. So we're going to go to our index. We're going to go to T to tachycardia. So open up your book to tachycardia, which uh, is on page 307 in my specific textbook or coding manual. Once we get to tachycardia, we don't have a specific one to code, so we're just going to do this unspecified, which is always the default code right next to that term. So that is R00.0. So again, you want to verify this. Let's flip to the tabular, make sure that is in fact the code we want. R00.0 is on page 929. It says tachycardia unspecified, rapid heartbeat, uh, sinoauricular tachycardia or sinus tachycardia, not elsewhere specified. So that is the correct code. So we know we're going to pick R00.0. Now we need to code for each of the medications because it was the interaction of these together. So we have to code each one. So open up your table of drug and chemicals. Again, that starts on page 349. And let's just alphabetically go to D first to digoxin. So once you get there, which is on page 364 in my book, we're going to go all the way, once we find digoxin, we're going to go all the way to adverse effect, which is the fifth column right at the top. So again, it might be helpful to get a piece of paper or a ruler to make sure you can stay in the right row. But next to digoxin and then adverse effect, you should see T46.0x5. Then we want to flip to the tabular, make sure that's what we want, and add our seventh character A for initial encounter. And then let's go and look up our second code, which is the volume. So flip to the end of your table of drug and chemicals, page 395. Go to V to volume, and again over to that fifth column for adverse effects, you should see T42.4X5. Again, we flip that to our tabular to T42.4X5, verify our code description. We see that we need the seventh character. We're gonna add A. So in this scenario, our codes are R00.0, T46.0X5A, and T42.4X5A.